Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2291, XLOOKUP, version 2. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jelland. We're going to take a look, a comprehensive look today at XLOOKUP, the new version of XLOOKUP. Yep, there was a video two months ago, but things have changed. They've made some improvements. Uh, so let's just go through all of the benefits. XLOOKUP is designed to unite the VLOOKUP or Index and Match Camps or HLOOKUP or LOOKUP, whatever you're look, using. Uh, this has it for you, and there's several benefits. Number one, match mode defaults to an exact match. No more need to end your VLOOKUPs with comma false or with comma zero. Uh, number two, the integer-based column number that was in VLOOKUP, the third argument, gone. Replaced by a proper cell reference, which means that you will not break VLOOKUP if one of your coworkers insert a column in the table. If NA functionality built in. Don't have to wrap the VLOOKUPs in if NA, you just use the if not found new fourth argument there. Uh, benefit number four, search for the value equal to or just larger, only match could do that before, or equal to or just smaller, and neither of them could do it without sorting the table. Now we don't have to sort the table. Benefit number five, XLOOKUP, sure, does HLOOKUP. Benefit number six, uh, this is a cool one, it can search from the top of the table like VLOOKUP, or from the bottom of the table. To find the last match, there's uses for that. Uh, benefit number seven, you didn't even realize this was a problem, but trust me, it's been a problem. VLOOKUP has been treating asterisks, question marks, and tildes as wildcards. You might have been getting the wrong answer. You didn't even realize they were treating them as wildcards. That's turned off now. You can turn it back on. Benefit number eight, uh, this is the one I love. XLOOKUP will return all 12 months from the table with a single formula. This is the time. When I would switch from VLOOKUP to index and match, one match, 12 indexes, now it's just one XLOOKUP does it all. This benefit number nine, very, very subtle, XLOOKUP can return a self reference, which allows me to do a construct like XLOOKUP colon XLOOKUP, cell reference, cell reference, and I can look uh, sum of variable range, let's say. Uh, and then, yep, we can do a two-way match like index match match did. I can sum all like the old, old lookup function used to do. and uh, if we use transpose, it can even do the twisted lookup. All right, so let's dive in and see what we can do here. First thing, XLOOKUP. So I want to find the XLOOKUP W25-6. Where am I going to look? I'm going to look here in column L. I'll press F4 because I'm going to copy this down uh, to lock that reference down. And then this is where I would normally say 3 because I wanted the third item from the table. But now I'm going to specify exactly what I want. I want the price. Again, F4 there. And then that's it. I don't need to do uh, if not found match mode, search mode, it just automatically defaults to exact match, which is great. That's what we do most of the time. So that's benefit number one. Benefit number two, what if your coworker comes along and decides that they need to insert a column here? Well, that would have broken VLOOKUP because uh, it would start returning the wrong column. But check this out, because we were specifying a cell reference, the cell reference moves over. All right, so no more having your VLOOKUPs broken because some crazy coworker deleted it or inserted a column in your table. All right, handle if NA is the fourth argument. I took a bunch of items here and replaced it with an item that's not on the table. And of course, we get the NA there, the uh, not available error. New fourth argument here, we can gently replace that with not found or zero or whatever. Uh, and not have to wrap the VLOOKUP in NA. That's cool right there. All right, the other version of VLOOKUP, the, not the comma false, but the comma true, it would find the value just less. So if we're looking for 12,835 in this table, uh, it would return a bonus of 12. If we're looking for something uh, really close to 20,000, but not over 20,000, still going to return the 12. Uh, we have to get above 20,000 before we return the last item. So how do we do that? In our VLOOKUP, the match mode, we say we want the exact match or the next smaller item. That's negative 1. Now, in VLOOKUP, that would have been comma true, which is equal to a 1. In match, that would have been 1, right? So they've reversed the 1 and the minus 1, but this one actually makes more sense. So I'm going to live with that without complaining about it at all. What if we wanted to find the value just larger? VLOOKUP couldn't do that. Match could, but now XLOOKUP has no problem with it. Here's the match type we're saying we're looking for the value uh, exact match or the next larger item. So if we have two people, a car is fine. Double click and copy that down. But here, 
uh, for 11 people we need the tour van with 12 and oh by the way in VLOOKUP comma true or match comma one or minus one this had to be sorted no longer has to be sorted it can be in any order and it continues to work uh, H lookup for someone who built the table going the wrong way no problem there so we're looking for the month name there and returning the uh, rate from there uh, H lookup is no problem with X lookup all right next up this one's cool this one's cool there was an old old episode of the Mr. Excel netcast where I solved this problem for a horse farm in England and they were so happy with the complicated formula I created they actually named one of their racehorses after me uh, and what they were trying to do is they had a series of vehicles every time the vehicle comes in for gas uh, it they would log the mileage and they wanted to find the last match so when we look for red Ford truck I don't want 880,020 I want 83,250. We're looking from the bottom of the list. How do we do that? Uh, the last argument here is minus one for search last to first. All right, so let's take a look at the formula. It's called um, search mode, and we say search last to first, and it will find the last one in the list. Very cool. All right, wild cards. People didn't realize this, but when you did a V lookup, VLOOKUP and you were searching for wall star mart it's going to return the first thing that starts with wall ends with mart and there's the 30 which is technically wrong X lookup by default will not uh, acknowledge wildcards if you need it to return wallboard mart uh, then you specify out here the comma 2 for a wildcard character match so it can still do it but it's not going to do it unless you specifically ask for it uh, which is great all right here is my favorite one one formula returns all 12 months when I had to do a V lookup and I had to repeat it for January February March April May June it was a real hassle because that third argument had to be changed from comma 2 to comma 3 and then to comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 or hide a row here with helper cells with 2 through 12 or use the column function all of those were weird now one formula we're looking up a6 in this list of account numbers what do we want to return we want to return the whole array like that press enter one formula gets the job done absolutely amazing I love that one all right this one super super obscure there were nine functions actually there were eight now there's nine that have a very weird behavior in Excel normally they return a value but it's possible for these to return a reference and the reference is triggered when there's a colon next to the function or a space for an intersection operator or a union operator all right so here take a look at this we're looking up fig over here in this list and what we're getting is six all right so x look up uh, very simple little function here to return the six and then here i'm looking up orange and it's returning 15. all right simple enough but if in this formula i say i want to do the sum of the x lookup which should be six colon and then the other X lookup, which should be 15, what it's actually doing is it's going to evaluate this and not return the 6. It's going to return the answer of B9. It's going to tell me where that's found. Crazy that this works. Formula, evaluate formula. So here we go, evaluate right here. Here's where it should return the 6, but because it's next to a colon, it returns B9 like that. And then this one, where it should return. Uh, the number 15 it returns 18 right so now we're summing everything from here to here and getting the total of those I can see all kinds of uses for this uh, if you're trying to add up everything you know from a certain range of values find the first one find the last one add up everything in between very subtle but Excel tricksters uh, will love that all right speaking of Excel tricksters uh, index and match with two matches to be able to do a two-way lookup we want to find the intersection of a621 and may right so index match match was the typical way to do that this is a completely different uh, approach what we're going to do is we're going to say we're looking for a621 over here in this list uh, but then what's the results array the results array is going to be another x lookup where we're looking for may in this list and what do we want to return we want to return all of these values which in fact returns like we return 12 months we return the whole column so when we look up J6 in the in the months it actually returns all of those answers and I get 90 44 110 that becomes my results array 
uh, which allows the X lookup to return the 104. This is going to take a little bit of time to wrap your head around, but definitely very cool. All right. All right. Now, just a few more things here that uh, the old lookup function can do, and X lookup can match those. The lookup function had the weird ability that you could say, I want to look up all of these values, and it would return all of the answers, and then you could send it into the sum function. So it could uh, total all of those bonuses. X lookup can do the same thing. I want to look up all of these values. Here's my lookup array. Here's my results array. Uh, value if or if not found is blank, and then minus one for next smaller item. Uh, send that into the sum function, and we get the same answer. All right, the other oddity, the old old lookup function could do a twisted lookup where the uh, we were looking for this letter C here and wanted the corresponding value from uh, something that went across. So down and across, it didn't have to be the same direction. X lookup natively doesn't support this, but you can simulate it uh, by saying we're looking up C in this range and the results array is the transpose of this range. That one is cheating just a tiny bit. The new XLOOKUP function, lots of amazing, amazing stuff here. Trying to unite the uh, the VLOOKUP camp with the index and match camp with the HLOOKUP with the lookup. Uh, it can do it all. Well, taking a look, we got uh, Ignite. I'll be at Ignite all this week. Uh, stop by and see me. I'm recording a podcast Wednesday morning in the in the hub. Uh, if you find me, I have some great swag to give you. Uh, and then my last seminar, Chattanooga, Tennessee, on uh, November 12th. Uh, catch me there, and then that's it. I'm only doing seminars inside of Florida. Check out my new book, Mr. Excel LX, The Holy Grail of Excel Tips. Uh, doesn't cover X Lookup. We'll have to fix that, but it will cover everything else. If you like these tips, please subscribe and ring that bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments uh, in the comments below. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.